Now we can tell Deceive what it's emulating. By editing the prompt.txt file, you can include a short description of the type of system you want it to pretend to be. You don't have to be very detailed here, though the more details you provide, the better the simulation will be. You can keep it high level, like you are a video game developer system. Include realistic video game source and asset files. Imagine how much work that would be to do manually. And this thing's just going to emulate that all for us automatically. Now we're going to be using OpenAI, which is default I have here on this tab, the website platform.openai.com. Go ahead here and create a new secret key. I'll call it Splunk AI, create secret key. Let's copy that, come over. We're going to do an export, open AI API key, paste that in. Okay, great. Next, we're going to change to the SSH directory and run the following command. Okay, so let's CD into SSH. Let's paste that in. And if you were expecting fireworks and champagne popping, I was too. But it says here that the server will just start and not produce any output, but will stay executing in the foreground. Okay, so let me secure shell as random user at localhost. Remember, any username works. Any password works. Check it out. Welcome to Acme Game Studios Incorporated, building worlds one line at a time. Now, Acme Game Studios is, is pretty like a dead giveaway. So let me exit out. Let's try it again. Any password. Check it out. We got a different one this time. Welcome to Hyper Game Code Development Server. So every interaction is different. Let me list out. And we have multiple directories that have been created. We have assets, scripts, and tools. There's a readme, a to-do. That's pretty crazy, right? Like AI made these folders for us. We didn't have to create these by hand. 